all right so to cut the circle shape i have my marker here so what you want to do is to first measure the skirt length from your waist all the way down to the floor or wherever it is that you want the the um the skirt to stop at okay so once you do that you measure from here you measure about four to three inches down in the middle first you take your fabric and you fold it in a triangular shape like so then you start from the top to the middle you want to measure down about three to four inches down okay you put a mark you put a mark right here you do the same thing right here right here and in the middle right and you connect it you want to create like a circle circular shape okay so the next thing you want to do is to measure from the waistline to the floor say if you have 10 right so you measure from this middle to the floor length for 10. you go back in the middle you measure from the middle to like 10 then you go again from like the side you measure all the way to 10. now if this is the back okay you want to extend it because you want it to have a train so you can add say about two inches down okay now the next thing you would do is to connect your lines right you connect your lines like so okay once you have that it's so simple <laughs> you just go in you cut this part out okay and you cut the bottom as well. Okay. Now, as you can see, once you open it up, you have this shape, okay? Once you have this shape, you're pretty much good. Now, for the front part, what you can do is you take this same shape, okay? Say this is another shape of fabric, right? Again, you fold it in two, you double fold it like so. This is a simple method that you can use, okay? Then you fold it again, depending on, okay? So now you want to place this, which is the back. You want to play it right over, place it right over and cut it out okay once you have this cut out depending on the length of your fabric I mean depending on the length that you want the front of your skirt to be you want to cut it like so okay so that that way you have the front and the back and in this way the front is shorter just the way I have mine, the front is shorter and the back is longer. So by the time you sew it, it just kind of curves like that. Now, say if you want the front part to have, to be shorter, you can just cut it to your preferred shape, length, whatever you want, okay? So, here we go. All right, okay, so I will show you what I have. All right, so for the front part of the front piece of the detachable skirt, it's not as long as the back part or the side. So what I did is I have this cut out Again, it's unfold, so I have this cut out separately. And what I'm going to be doing is joining the longer part to the to the one to the back piece that I have here. So I'll be connecting it on both sides to get the desired effect. You want to place your fabric in a triangle shape and have it unfold, then cut out the pattern that you need. Okay, so I am just cutting the front lining out so I can also line the other side. Okay. Alright, and there we go. 
This is the same piece that I have for the front. So I'm going to go ahead and like I did for the front part, I'm also going to join this to this. That's okay. All right, so here's what we have so far for the train at the back. And here's the front part. So again, before we put the overlay, you want it just like this, okay? So I, ha I have some organza fabric here. I bought about six yards of organza fabric. And I will be making a petticoat out of this to put under the detachable, the detachable train, the detachable waist skirt. So I did bought some organza fabric. I bought about six yards. Now this will be used to make a petticoat now this is going to go under the the waist skirt the detachable waist skirt i will be putting it under in order for it to stay and be stiff the petticoat will be going underneath it now using the same using the same measurements and i have about four panels of this cutout for the petticoat now i have a the i now using the same measurement as the um, as the body of the underskirt. Now I have the organza measured out and I have four I have five panels of this and I'm going to join it all together and start putting the bone in. Bone Okay, so going over the measure line, I have sewn down the horse hair and I am keep so going over my measured markings I just finished sewing down some of the boning and I'm going to continue doing the same all the way to the floor this is a waistline so far all right so now I'm able to create a all right so now i just completed the petticoat now remember this petticoat it's uh it's not a full full circle around skirt okay so i just completed the petticoat now this petticoat will go under the the um the waist skirt now this will go under before it's lined let me show you Okay, so here I have the petticoat. Okay, so here I have the skirt, and here I have the <laughs> petticoat, and I am going to place the front part right over. I'm going to place it right over the petticoat before it is lined. That way we can have, and then line it, sew it down to give us some structure, okay? All right, so I am going to line, I mean to sew this down and see what, I'm, what effect I am able to achieve, okay? So for this part, I am adding on the band, okay? So I'm going to sew down, as you can see, I already started. So I'm going to sew down the band to the skirt, okay? So for the waistband, I am going to measure four inches in terms of the width. And I am working with a waist measurement of 28 plus two, that will be 30, so that will be 15. So for 15, we want to measure 7.5. And once you mark it to like right about here, that'll be 7.5 for front and the back will be 15, so my bad. So for the width, we are working with 15, okay? for the This is for the waistband so what we want to do is cut out 15 and 4 inches so that will be 4 inches width 
and 15 inches in terms of the length is it the length <laughs> something like that but you get the idea so that would be 15 in 15 inches going across like so and four inches going this way and once you cut out once it's cut out we want to flip it like this okay you fold it that would be in two pieces i'll be in four pieces so as you can see this is on fold double folded so by the time you open it up you have a straight line okay so i'm going to cut that out right now so you can see it so this is what i mean okay now next up what you want to do for your project is folded like this okay now what you want to do on this part is we want to sew we are going to sew down this edge and the other edge the same way and you want to iron it and once it's been ironed then you will attach it to your waist skirt okay all right so here we have it now this is not my size so of course it's too big it's too small for me but here you have your skirt train with the petticoat inside yep i think we're ready to get married do you guys like it but that's pretty much it guys and there's a snap on to secure and to hold it but once again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay fabulous.